Good mornings, everyone, and greetings from Arkansas. Today we're at Magic Springs, a new theme park, one I've never been to before, so I'm very excited. I go by the legend that's my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. In this video here, we're going to show you all around the Magic Springs amusement park. Let's go check things out. So let's kick off the tour talking about the park's most interesting roller coaster, and that is X Coaster, a ride that was built by Maurer. I believe it's the only one of its type in this country. It is a shuttle coaster, and you start with this big vertical lift that takes you straight up. Got to be well over 100 feet. And then you go upside down through the lift, and then you go through this wacky inversion there before going straight down. And then you kind of go upside down a little bit if you're in the front. Definitely go upside down there. It is, it's very, very strange. Uh, it definitely feels like an earlier version of Tempesto. I know that was made by a different manufacturer. And then you just stop there for some reason and sort of latch back on and go back down. It's a, it's a weird ride. Not, not a great ride, but it's interesting. This roller coaster here is Big Bad John, the park's mine train ride. And it's uh, pretty fun. Yeah, you go through the woods. It's really, it's off on its own corner of the park. Mm -hmm. So you go through the woods, there's a tunnel, there's three lift hills. It makes me feel like I'm actually on a train in like a scenic, I don't yeah. know, Alaska woody area. And it's a pretty smooth ride. Yeah. Um, also, it has an interesting history. This ride started life as one half of the River King Mine Train at Six Flags St. Louis before it moved to Dollywood for a few years, and now it, it ended up here in Magic Springs. So kind of an interesting history and a fun ride. I like the setting a lot. And not to be confused with the water slide at Walt Disney World, this is Plummet Summit, not Summit Plummet, and it's the park's Shoot the Shoots ride. I'm not the biggest fan of these rides, but it is in a pretty neat setting over here. And it is uh, very warm here in, in Hot Springs, Arkansas. So I imagine going on this ride would feel very good as they go down and kaboom. And that's all it does. Oop, mist, need to get the mist away from the camera. Here you can see the parks, in my favorite, the best attraction in the park. This is the Arkansas Twister, a big wooden roller coaster. Unfortunately, it runs like the old, I believe they're Gerschlauer wooden coaster trains, which are not the best. They actually run, make the ride run pretty slow, so you don't get a lot of airtime. But the views you get on this ride are really, really strong. You can't see a lot of the ride from the park, and that's something you'll get with a lot of the rides here at Magic Springs, where the, par the rides are kind of off on their own. But like, there's a big, slow turnaround on the ride, and you go really slow, but like, you just see scenic mountains all around you. Yeah, it's really And uh, like, the location they put this thing was fantastic. And what I, I'm, when I, I was doing my research about the park, this ride used to be literally like 10 minutes down the road from our house in Orlando. It, this came from the old Circus World or Boardwalk and Baseball Park. It went by a whole bunch of different names over there. I think one of them was like the Michael Jackson Thriller Coaster, among other things. Interesting. Yeah, but uh, it's cool. It's also the placement of this ride is very, very odd. You're over here next to the picnic grounds, and you have to walk like through the water park to get to the roller coaster. But uh, definitely make your way over here. In my opinion, the, the best ride in the park. Um, nothing crazy to ride home about from a roller coaster standpoint, but the views you get, and you see the ride's definitely running a little on the sluggish side, and then you can see it over there. Even like in the, the turnaround near the end, it's a much lower turnaround, but like it's roller coaster in mountains, which is neat. This big yellow roller coaster is the Gauntlet. The park's Vacoma SLC. Now, if you've been on one of these before, you know they have the reputation for not being the best rides. A lot of them are very, very rough. This one is actually in really good shape. According to Roller Coaster Database, when this ride opened in 2004, it was the first one with a redesigned wheel assembly for a smoother ride. And you can definitely tell it's one of the best SLCs out there. And for me, it's the last one in America I had to ride. I've now been on all of them. I've completed what I've referred to as the Idiot's Infinity Gauntlet, having been on every Vacoma SLC in the country. And this one, while not in the, the, the wildest of settings, it's probably the smoothest one in the country. So it's still my favorite is probably the, uh, the one of the Jersey Shore Pier, Point, Pier Boardwalk at Maurice Pier. But uh, this one, way better than I thought it would be. Molly, didn't hurt you. No, no, it wasn't bad at all for what it is. I'm happy I made her go on it, and now I'm not getting in trouble. <laughs> Magic Springs does have a sizable water park. Here you can see the wave pool. A couple interesting things about the wave pool here. First of all, those are like the e-ticket cabanas you can rent over there. Above the wave pool, looks like you got a TV to watch whatever you want. 
And one thing I really like about the wave pool is also over there, you could see like there's like benches you could just sit down in a little alcove on the side. That's really neat. You get a good view of X Coaster over here as well for the coaster dorks like myself. And then over here you could see a, like a kids area of the wave pool with slides for little kids and stuff. This I feel like is the more modern section of the water park. First of all, I love the backdrop with the mountains in the background. You've got a big mat racing slide, a crazy slide complex over here, toilet bowl slides, uh, like big speed slides. What, six slides? Seven. Yeah, there's a whole bunch over there. You've got a, an older tube slide complex over here. And then of course the, uh, the Flow Rider Surf Wave, which is really fun. Yeah, not for Molly. I think they're really fun. I think they're fun. Yeah. You know, you hated it. You did it I, once and you said you would never do it again. I uh, enjoy watching people. Like yeah, it's a good people watching spot. It also looks like there's another pool down there. So that is the water park. Here you can see a whole bunch of guests lined up to go into the park's lazy river. I do like they have like a rope bridge that goes over it. Yeah. I'm curious if this is part of the water park they don't run anymore. It seems way away from the other section of the water park, but a pretty good size, like, kids' splash fortress area. Yeah, but it's hot today, too. So yeah, they, I mean, it's 90-something 90, 90 right degrees. If they do. It's very loud in here, but it's time for one of my favorite bits. Molly drives me around in an antique auto. Yeah! Right past the roller coaster. R roller coaster's over there. Uh, they got shit. Unfortunately, not operating for us today is Brain Drain, the park's drop tower ride, which is a bummer because you get a really good view from up there, the mountains and everything. Diamond Mine Run is the park's little kids roller coaster. Right there does have some theming elements there too, like you can see dynamite in that box. And uh, a little bit longer than some of your standard kids coasters, so uh, not as embarrassing riding it as you would something else. Still might be embarrassing for Molly. And if you're one of the weird roller coaster people like we are, you can ride without kids, so count those credits, guys. There are some rather pretty sections of Magic Springs, like you got this area here, home to the park's Sky Coaster upcharge attraction, where you get strung up by a wire and then you pull a rip cord and you swing. Over here you swing right over a lake. I'm surprised they don't have like like paddle boats or bumper boats or something on the lake here. Maybe they used to. But still a uh, a pretty section of the park. Pretty cool theming here on the Hawk. Unfortunately, getting another ride close here on our visit to Magic Springs. And I'm visiting the park on a Saturday, like in June, so kind of surprised to see this many rides down. But I do like the theming elements on here. The park does have bumper cars, uh, six of them. But they, uh, I like the design, kind of like a Studebaker kind of thing. So unfortunately, uh, a close ride for us today here is the Log Flume. Um, I'm guessing it probably hasn't opened for the year yet, or in quite some time. It's sad because it looks like a decent log flume too. You have some kids rides towards the front of the park, like little flying planes. And then over here you've got an interesting looking carousel. Yeah, the top is really interesting. Yeah. I think I feel like one of them was like a person. There's a unicorn. And then uh, there was a deer. Zebra. A chicken. I swear there was a person. I yes, there is. Like right there. You could ride a centaur. Well, that's not a person. I, uh, I couldn't resist. I had to ride the centaur carousel. He's carrying a little harp. Molly seems rather embarrassed. You're a little high, but yes. I'm very low. There you go. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Centaur. We're now going backwards on a carousel, which is weird. But that's probably not weird for you as you're a half-naked horseman carrying a flute. A couple more kids rides here. You got a little kid's drop tower. A spinning balloon ride. I like this one over here. It looks like a... Looks like tubs of fun, but done up as little wacky cars. Yeah, I like the crazy cars. Yeah, those are different. Uh, give me like kind of like Toontown vibes in uh, Disneyland. That looks like you got a little bug ride over there and a small kids Ferris wheel type attraction. 
My friends, I think this one's up there with uh, Big Bad John for the best names of rides in the park. This little kid's train ride is the Looney Tutor. So this is really neat. They make all their own fudge here in the park. Birthday cake. Cookies and cream. Looks good. Not not perfect fudge weather right now, but uh, the, it looks great. It's kind of a bizarre fountain here, but then the creek looks like it runs through the water park. Hey Molly, what time is it? Uh, beer 30. Beer 30. Yes, uh, limit selection of like domestic beers. It is a beer jail area, so you can't leave beer jail here, but uh, beer's only six bucks, so that's plus. Also, it's a million degrees, so it's, yeah. I said, like, nice. I told the, the bartender, like, I'll probably drink it in four minutes. I'm like, what's gonna take you that long? So, friendly staff here at Magic Springs. So it's close, but that, that's a really odd name for a midway game. So, gotta look at some of the merch here for sale. You got a uh, shot glass, some decent shot glasses too. Like that is a, that's a pretty snazzy logo shot glass. Let's see if I can get to focus on it. There it goes. That's kind of, you could get your Magic Springs baby sipper. This is cool, a cooler backpack, which keeps up to 18 cans or bottles cold for hours. A bunch of ladies types of shirts over here. Not seeing tons of like roller coaster stuff, which obviously what I would look for. This is cool for the Arkansas Twister. That's a pretty solid magnet. Oh, this does not rotate. They really like that Arkansas Twister magnet. This one has different ones. Oh, we're gonna go check. Yeah, you got a couple other magnets over there. You got stickers. That's kind of snazzy. Throw that on a laptop or something. This one more like car style of magnets. Like wood carved uh, ornaments. Interesting, interesting. That looks like we got more t-shirts and stuff over here. And uh, a lot of, lot of tie-dye. Molly, we found anything good as far as shirts go? I uh, know, they're very generic. Yeah, they, they definitely are. Not, and you can tell like it's not really their logo on a lot of it, so they just went to like a generic t-shirt kind of place and say mm -hmm. like, hey, make us some shirts. Uh, and uh, no, I haven't seen any ride shirts. Yeah. Well, this one you can definitely tell. All right, that is uh, the most one you got. You got the rides on it in the shape of Arkansas. So that's, that's probably your best bet if you want like a coaster related t-shirt. Which is same because like some of the t roller coasters have cool logos. I like the ro logo for the Gauntlet. X Coaster had a solid logo. That's some of the merch. And that will do it for our time here at the Magic Springs Amusement Park here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Molly, what do you think of the park? I thought it was a good park. Uh, it was really pretty with all the mountains and stuff. I, I like how the rides were all kind of like in their own area. So like yeah. a lot of the roller coasters had really cool views. They're kind of off on their own. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say the bones, the, the, it definitely have, has the bones of a good park here. It, it's been a long time since they got a new addition of, of significant size. Yeah, and it seems like they have the land if they wanted to. Yeah, so I mean, uh, when you have Cedar Fair and Six Flags saying that they're looking to acquire parks, this is one I could definitely see getting acquired by one of those guys and getting significantly better from it. Oh yeah, Because oh, I mean, well, on our visit today, there were a, a, a number of close rides. And uh, one good thing, like, they did have a lot of closed rides, but like almost all the games were closed, so they, they operated the guest-friendly stuff instead of the merchandise-generating stuff, right. rev revenue-generating stuff. And so, they were friendly, the staff. Yeah, staff was, was really, really friendly. friendly. Uh, I did end up riding the uh, the Centaur Carousel, much to Molly's uh, dismay. Yeah, yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah, and, and uh, no <laughs> real standout rides, but rides with really cool views. And the X-Coaster is unique. Like, you can't, that's the only place you can get that in the United States. So uh, there we go. If you're in the area, also we bought our tickets. They have a flash sale once a year. So if you're thinking about coming, buy your tickets then, because I I think it costs like 30 or 40, probably around 40 bucks or something to get in here. But we got tickets for $21 during the flash sale. All right, guys, so that'll do it. If you have any questions about Magic Springs, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.